Hello, my name is Martha Cole and I work at the Montana Historical Society and I'm excited today to show you an item from our Research Center collection. Now I love this artifact for a lot of reasons. For one, it offers a glimpse at expectations about men and women's roles during World War II. I was fascinated to see next to articles on fashion and movie stars, a feature on careers, which suggests girls might want to be cartographers or welders. These opportunities disappeared quickly for women in the 1950s after men returned home from the war. The reason we have it in our collections though, is because this issue features the comic one Little Indian. This four page color strip celebrated 20 year old Minnie Spotted Wolf, full blooded Blackfoot Indian from Montana, who did a man's job before the war. Now she's taking a man's place in the United States Marines. Despite its title, One Little Indian provided a surprisingly unstereotyped, though romanticized, portrait of Minnie Spotted Wolf, the first American Indian to join the United States Marines Women's Reserve. Born on a ranch near Hart Butte, Minnie Spotted Wolf grew up doing ranch work, including herding horses, building fences, and driving trucks. According to her daughter, Jaredetta England, Spotted Wolf tried to enlist at the beginning of the war, but the recruiter discouraged her saying the war was really not for women. Later, Spotted Wolf almost didn't serve because her father died in a horse riding accident. But as the comic strip pointed out, her mother and sister urged her to go. In 1943, 20-year-old Spotted Wolf reported to basic training at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, and the military public relations team quickly embraced the diminutive private spotlighting her as a symbol of feminine power and American unity. Newspapers from Brazil, Indiana to Oxnard, California ran features the Marines distributed about Spotted Wolf, some with a photo the Marines staged of her shooting a bow and arrow. Like the newspapers, Calling All Girls took its information from the Marines Public Relations Department. In fact, the drawing on the first page matched one of the Marines' publicity photographs almost exactly. According to Spotted Wolf's daughter, the cartoon nonetheless presented a fairly accurate account of her mother's life and service. Minnie Spotted Wolf chose to enlist because she wanted to serve her country, but also to represent her family, her tribe, and all American Indians. England said that her mother didn't join the military just for herself, but for the Indian people. She wanted others to know who she was and where she came from. In that, she was not alone. Approximately 44,500 American Indians proudly served during World War II. Most of the 400,000 women who enlisted in the military during World War II ended up working in traditionally female jobs, as typists, for example. But the Marines recognized Spotted Wolf's experience driving two-ton trucks back home, and she became a heavy equipment operator as well as a driver for visiting officers in both Hawaii and California. Of the 20,000 women serving in the United States Marine Corps, only 1,000 stayed on after the war ended. Among them was Minnie Spotted Wolf, who served four years before returning home to Montana, where she married had four children, graduated from college with a degree in elementary education, and taught for 29 years in rural schools on the Blackfeet Reservation. Proud of her military service, Spotted Wolf was active in the Browning American Legion Post 127. She died at age 65 in 1988. We're pleased to have a copy of this comic strip honoring Minnie Spotted Wolf and helping us remember her service at the Montana Historical Society.